What's up everybody? This is Just Jessica and today I am going to do a little um, look for the Karen the MUA <clears throat> Valentine's collaboration and I'm going to go for the category cute. So let's see if I can be cute. Um, and I'm going to use just I, I'm I'm always like okay, so what I could have done is I could have said, You want this look, keep on watching. But I'll do that because here's the reason why. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to get. I just kind of see where it takes me. So I am going to start off with the um, hit the lights, woman. I do curse on this channel, so please um, don't judge me. I'm, I'm doing my best. A lot of times you, you'll notice in my other videos that I'll start saying shoot or shucks or something instead. I'm, I'm really just doing my best. Okay, but I'm going to do the eyes first, and I am going to do a cut crease. But I'm going to try to make this so that if you want to copy me, you can do it too. And I'm trying to make it, uh, I'll try to do this in a fast motion. Now if you're not good with lashes, just watch. I'll explain everything to you as I go so it won't get too complicated, okay? Um, and I also have tutorials about how I do wings and how I do lashes. And I love to have a wing. I'm like Amy Winehouse crazy. I love to have a thick wing. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'm going to start off with finding a right brush. Uh, <laughs> I am going to use a Morphe brush and this has like no number, you know, like something, something, 35, whatever. This is just, um, this is just a 25 year um, <sighs> anniversary uh, with this little holographic. I think I got it backwards there. I'm not sure. Holographic. Okay, so um, I'm going to start off with, no, nope, I'm not going to do the James Charles today. Sorry, but actually I do need them though. I need them for the purple. Okay, so because it's a Valentine's collaboration, I'm going to do, of course, the pinks and the purples and all that good stuff. I'm going to go in though with a nudie brown shade. I'm sitting on a different chair, so that's why everything's different. I hope the light's not too light. You can still see enough. And I am going to Pack that over my eye, like over the whole thing. I like to drag mine up a little bit. I've got too much stuff on this table. Um, and I do put it away and rearrange and do what I can. And it always ends up to be too much. It's just like decluttering. Do you know how it is like when you declutter because you got too much makeup? So I, I like give it away to places here in town that have like uh, women that are in treatment facilities or um, you know the ones that just got out from incarceration or something um, so I give I give that to them or there's like a store across the street called Retails they're a thrift store and they work with the Humane Society so I kinda like give my stuff to them when I declutter and then it all ends up cluttered again within two or three days so I, I, I don't get it, I'm trying but uh, so next one, there's this little brush here. With, it's kind of it's kind of like a fluffy. Brush. It's got a little point at the top. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go in with the James Charles. It's like a deep purple. This one here. The reason why I use the brown is just for you know the smoking. I am going to pack that right here in the corner like that. I do have like a spot on my eye and I notice it in absolutely every video um, that it never picks up product. I, it'll pick it up for a second. Every time I like show the look it's gone. I have no idea why. Probably one of my old wrinkles getting in the way. So I'm going to kind of like pull it up in the middle like that. Let's pack it on again. I want it to be rich now because I'm going to smoke it out. And it's going to look like a mess until it's done. And just a little bit more over here because I always have one eye that shows more with the other one because of my hooded eyes. 
was trying to get that up there. Okay. So there's like a light purple that's right next to it. If you have the James Charles miniature, mini, miniature. If you have that palette, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to smack that just right underneath it. And it is a mess, but I will fix it. But I'm not going to go in all the way. I want to save some room for some like bright pink. Not bright pink, but like a light, light pink. Um, so, okay, so next I'm going to go in. Oh, I need a beautiful pink. Okay, so with the Hit the Lights palette. I'm going to go in with a shimmery pink, which is not picking up. Why ain't you picking up? Okay, it didn't pick up, but it just went all over my face. A Morphe is, uh, it's a good company, it's affordable, but a lot of their stuff is a little so-so, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and smoke this out a little bit. Um, I need my little fluffy brush. So like I said, just put on that brown and then I put on the purple. And now I'm just going to fluff it out. And then I'm, I'm really trying to make this look as easy as possible for other people. If they want to copy. And I just take a clean, little fluffy brush, and I just move it back and forth with that brown, like that. And then it looks a lot softer. If it's too soft, I mean, you can always go back in and fluff it back out again. So I have to, like in the background, his little nets on the TV, um, unboxing his, I don't know, lucky bag from Jeffree Star or Beautylish or something. He's just so funny. Um, I watched one a few minutes ago. I didn't have the sound on it, but he had like his hair dyed purple. And I was like, look at the hair, that's so cute. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with a cut crease. I'm going to use the Sm Smashbox found a, um, concealer. I like to put a little bit on the back of my hand. That's what I'm going to work with. Um, it's not my shade, and that's okay. That way I don't have to use my concealer that is my shade. I'll just use this to do my cut creases. Because <clears throat> we're going to get all glittery up in here. So I'm going to go a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm taking that with the brush like that, coating it nice, and I'm going to put it like I would an eyeliner, just like that. I'm going to look up, there's my crease. When you look up, it leaves like a little spot in the crease, and that's where you want to cut it. So I'm going to cut it like three quarters of the way, that's it, that's all. Okay, now I didn't get that perfect, but I'm going to get perfect, girl. If it's not perfect, it's okay. Oh, okay, so I see I kind of didn't show enough. Okay, so I'm going to go and do it on the other eyelid so you can see it. So, just go at the bottom. And see there, there is where it is. That's my cut crease. Just take a a flat brush, a little one, as little as you can, or whatever's comfortable for you. And I'm going to go, like I said, three quarters of the way. Okay, this one's not that even, but like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, some people are just a little OCD about being perfect, and when they show you things, it's kind of like you can't make a mistake, and if you do, it's like, oh shit, it's ruined. Um, that's not how I want to show people how to do makeup. But I I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not a makeup artist. Like, I don't have any, like, certificates or anything. I just do this for fun. I have learned from others on YouTube. And so I'm just showing how I learn. And a lot of times, like, my experience is, is when I learn from others on YouTube. 
they tend to get a little bit too perfect, uh, which makes it hard for me to learn. Okay, so I'm going to use the Trisha and the Conspiracy palette because it has such a beautiful pink. I know this color picks up really good too. I mean, look at that. Okay, so and when you're doing your cut crease, you want to look down and you want to raise your eyebrow. Like that, go all the way up in that crease where that concealer is. And I'm going to dab it into the corner because I'm going to go back over it with that purple. I uh, don't do one eye on the camera and then get off and do another one. I, I tend to do everything like one eye and then I'll jump over to the other eye to even it out because uh, I just don't have the capability of doing that. It won't look the same. Um, I think if you want to get a close, like, the same look, you should go, just, just my opinion, y'all, step by step on creating the same at the same time. So up into the crease. Okay, so I'm going to take a little smaller brush with the same shape. And I'm just going to stamp it in the line the creases. Okay. So there are some people I want to give a shout out. You know, like um, DLT Lawn Care, um, um, G. Andy, Las Vegas Thrifts, Dumpster Diving Dad. Um, Y'all go check out their channels. J Girl Beauty. That's my home girl. Anyway, so everybody should already know. Uh, we are close friends. So, okay. So the next color is I'm not going to go back into that conspiracy palette. I'm going to go for a little coppery red, just to sm uh, that Morphe palette, just to kind of dull the hot pink. Let's go over this. It's, 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 it's not like a red. It's like, and it's not copper. I'll show you in a minute. It's kind of like, so I'm going out of that one into that one. And I'm going to pack that on the top too. I'm going to look like this. Okay, so now, uh, let me show you that color. Just in case, just in case you want to know. This one right here, it's kind of like it's not a red, it's not a pink, it's not a copper, it's like right there. That one. So, um, that's going to be that. So, um, I'm going to work a little bit with what I just put on my eye underneath, under eye. Uh, some gold. So I'm going to go um, with the James Charles palette. Mm -hmm. and just a little bit more into that dark purple. Just a little bit. Like at the corner. So now it's time for like the glam. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this NYX adhesive. I'm going to put it on that crease brush that I was using. Okay. Just put some on there and I'm just going to share that on both lids. Like that. up into the pink and it can run into the pink just just kind of make sure it doesn't have to be perfect but like the same amount of space like somewhat I'll put the lid back on this then I'm going to go into the loose glitter uh, not loose glitters I'm going to go into uh, the press glitters and I'm going to with that same brush I'm going to go into the silver from the Morphe 
it's weird. The cons consistency of this stuff is kind of weird. I mean, look how chunky it is. Like, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I ain't going to go all into that. I'm just going to use a little bit. So what I'm going to do is like the chunkiness that's on here. I'm, I'm working with what I got. I got some loose glitters. If this doesn't work, I'll try it. That's why I used adhesive. Don't like transfer. So we're going to go. Uh, this is this is going pretty good. If I can smear it out some, it'll be perfect. It's kind of doing what I want. Okay. So we were like talking on these lives, you know, like how you can upload videos like every day. It's so hard to grow. Um, I believe that this is it's time for a new era, y'all. It's time to get rid of this negative negativity that we got going on. Um, they do lives, and you sub for sub. And I think it's really cool because then you can check out stuff outside of like what you're doing, like because I do like beauty and stuff, uh, and it gets me it gives me a chance to watch something else, you know. Uh, I get bored of just beauty all the time, you know. And and the thing is, like when we're talking about it, it's so hard to grow. The reason here's the thing, it's just crazy because I've seen this with bigger influencers. It's kind of like you can grow okay so that one y'all was a little bit of the copper gold and the dual chrome highlighter from that James Charles palette I'm just gonna put it here going towards my Trisha okay so back to what I was saying I think it's just kinda crazy how uh, people all of a sudden get a lot of views and attention for like the wrong things you know there are people um, they don't have many viewers until they do something like bad and it kind of makes no sense it's but it, it I could relate to it because it's like this have you ever noticed like on Facebook you can post something really good about your life or like about a friend a pretty picture you'll get no likes but if you like put a meme on there that's like diss and shit oh you'll get like six six million like comments and likes like eh. so that's what like how I could relate to it okay so that's that for this look like for this part okay that needs some smoking out so it's not that patchy. See, I'll clean that up. And this needs some smoking out. And I'm going to clean. There's that spot, y'all. There's that spot. I I'll fix that too. It all looks like a hot mess until it's actually, actually done already. I am not going on. Oh, actually, I will go on with a little liquid liner. Okay, I, I tried last night to do a video and I had to erase it. It was this NYX white liner. If you're talking about sturdy, I, I still have some spots someplace in my arm. I scrubbed it. I could not get up. Oh, I put soap, put everything on it. I could not get this bitch off. Um, and it's still on there. And it took, uh, I'll never put that mess on my face again. Just for the reason of how you have to treat your skin to get it off. It was just crazy. Maybe I did something wrong. If I did, leave it in the comments. Okay, don't, don't be a point X. You're just, give me a suggestion in the comment box below. So, here goes the first. Okay, this was the e.l.f. Midnight Liquid, liquid Liner. I got this for a buck, y'all, at the Dollar Tree. So, do it again. And the reason why I'm using this liner instead of a felt tip is my experience with felt tips on top of glitter is the glitter can ruin the tip. 
okay uh, and when you want to use it the next time it's just not going to work the same because there is so much glitter that has gone on to the tip okay and so another thing with the being perfect it does not have to be absolutely perfect I got lashes I'm going I mean, I, I think I do them pretty straight, but when I put my lashes and my mascara on, if there are any flaws, it, it'll pretty much take care of itself. I mean, unless you want to spend two hours in front of a mirror, which I insist on not doing, okay? So, now I'm going to do, before I do my bottom lids, I'm going to correct this, and I'm going to do the rest of my makeup while this, ooh, while this mess is drying. Please do not leave a black line. You kind of like, if you hear the shh in the background, that's my heater. I got it like at 85 degrees, like right here on my lap. And I did that because it's like, oh, it's so cold. I was already outside this morning and I was like, what the hell? Um, it is really cold. And it's in Georgia. That's, you know, I always thought when I moved from Germany over to Georgia, it would be nice and hot. Um, like all year long. I didn't know it got this cold. You know, uh, so like my first year of moving back to the States, like in Germany, it's cold. Uh, we have a few nice days in the summer, uh, but it is generally, uh, the majority of the time, gray weather. Ooh, <laughs> or it's really, really cold. And so... Uh, I was kind of excited to come here. So when I came here in 2009, I was not used to the heat. It made me sick a lot. Um, and and like I said, I didn't know that it got the cold in the winter time either. So let's just bounce this off. This is my generic blender. generic blender from Wish and I have like the beauty blenders but I still insist on using this when I clean it and I use it all the time okay so I think this is more than enough and this was the cover girl simply ageless so my ears now I can't forget them ears spots okay clean that up okay so let's clean that all right for the rest of this valentine's look let's go ahead and get with the face the face never takes me long um the last step i have to do is like my lashes and like my under eye because i got a little decoration just a little one and Like, I can never see on camera if I've gone overboard with the highlighter. And I can't see it in person either because this light is, like, really bright. Hmm. Kind of went out there, right there. Alright, then I'm going to go with some blush. I'm going to use the Ciate blush, um, and I'm going to kind of mix that up with the Beauty Body uh, Beauty Benefits from Hollywood, and this is from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and this is pigmented the house, but it's a Valentine's thing, right? So go with that one. Not too much now. I like it a little pinky on the nose. So there's that, and then last but not least is uh, a highlighter, and I'm going to go in, oh my god, do I not have it here? I don't, but that's okay. I'm just going to use uh, the LA bronzer, I guess. It's kind of like a gold one, and it's for a dollar too, and like I said, I hit pan on this because I, I just love it. Um, so, and this is the crown brush. I ain't seen nothing. Let's see. Alright, now with the lips, it worked. 
the chin at work. Okay, it's working in some spots. If it's not working where I want to, I just go out and take the Diet Cola from Jeffree Star. Let me go ahead and dip my brush in that. Check that out. Yeah! Now, I don't know how it looks on camera, but it is meant to be an eyeshadow. As you can tell, I like it shows texture, so I'm just going to dull that out. Go back with what I had. Oh, and um, if it's like this, it's, it's kind of like cakey. I'm just going to go like this, kind of like. Okay, so let's go with the lips, and then I'll go in with the last step, which is the lashes. get all this junk out of the way because I really have to clean this up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mm, dry ass lips. I love this uh, Dulce uh, Gerard Cosmetics. Oh, I know what color I'm going to use. Okay, let me throw on this pencil I got in the BoxyCharm. And I'm glad I got it in the BoxyCharm because I would never pay that much money for a pencil ever. Natasha Denona. She does have a very good formula. I have to say I've never tried any of her palettes. I'd love to. But I ain't, I ain't paying no two hundred dollars for a palette. Or hundred and fifty. I just ain't doing it. I could get it all to and buy me a whole new look for that money. So, um, I think I got the sample I'm going to use once again because I'm almost out of it from Marilyn Norman. And I plan on buying one of those lipsticks as soon as I get a little bit more cash because it just, it's so creamy. But honestly, I think I could go in a little heavier with this look, so I'm just going to use the Dulce, uh, Gerard Cosmetics. So there's that color. So now for the lashes. I've got this Broadway lash glue. This is like my lash box. Um, got the Broadway lash glue. I do got these Jordan Wood eyelashes, but I'm I'm not down. Not today, girl. Hell no. I'm gonna use my Lily lashes. This is like the third time I've used them. So, and you, you can use them plenty. All right. So, take them out. Come on now. Why is everything going to be so difficult? All right. All right. So, Broadway Lash Glow. I, I like to use the black one. I'm going to work later, so. A nice thick coat of that. Okay, this is for my left eye. So you put a nice little coat of it and make sure it's round. Make sure it fits your eyes. These always, like I rarely have to cut my lashes. Uh, so cut them to the size of your eye on the outer corner. Don't cut from the inner corner. All right, and then you look down, and you just set them on the top like that. All right, this one's not exactly on the top. There we go. Now it's on the top. 
and then let's get this side lash. There we go. And it's okay if it's a little wonky. And like this little spot right here, I can fix that with liner. I'm not all worried about it. It's all about fun, okay? We learn as we go. I think that's the most important part. And I think the most important part is to have fun with these videos, learn a few things from one another, uh, and not be so damn serious. Uh, it takes the fun out of it. And that's when, I guess YouTube is just not for certain people. Um, so, and YouTube, um, will make you practice on, like, character defects that we kind of, that are, like a lot of people have, like mine is patience, and to learn on my character defect of patience, I just have to sit and wait, and so it, it, it makes you grow in one way or another, you know. Alright, so I'm on lash number two. And I think after this use, I might have to give them up. Because they get kind of cakey the house. Got to blow on it for a second. Got to blow for a minute. Suck. And blow. <laughs> Sorry, this video is not for kids, and I put that in the description box. So, huh. All right, so looking down again. Okay, this one's getting kind of wonky. Did you guys sit down? Alright, there's something wrong with this one. There we go. Let's not touch it. Let's just wait a second. Is it going to stay? It's staying. And this is something that's like with all of my lashes. One side goes like this and one side goes out straight. So, oh my gosh. Anyways, so enough of the lashes. And I'll fix these little spots in a second. I want to go to the bottom lashes. Um, the bottom of the eye. I'm going to get these glitter things. I was talking about this challenge to one of the girls at work. And she found these randomly somewhere for a buck. So I'm giving a shout out to Tori Sanders. That's my homegirl. I work with her. And they are so cute. Because they got like this kind of unicorn glow kind of to them. And I'm going to stick. Okay. And hopefully they will stick on their own. So I don't have to. Uh, I'm going to stick that. Oh, perfect. Right there. I'm going to go to the other one. Do the same thing. I love it so much. And that's it for those. So thank you, Tori, so, so much. Um, thank you for always sharing my videos and trying to support me. Um, and thank you for showing me that chick, Vam Vampire. -n. She does the best Marilyn Manson makeup looks. Okay. I love him. I have his shoes. I bought them off the internet last year. Uh, and I even wore them. Uh, I wear them at work, too, my Marilyn Manson shoes. Like, every, like so many people come and say, oh, I love your shoes. So, I'm going to do Bad Gal Bang. See, now... That's a good look. Like that. So without knowing where this makeup look would go, I, you just gotta keep on going. Uh, and don't sweat the small stuff. You know about something not being perfect. I remember watching, I used to watch James Charles's videos when he was trying to show his tutorials and stuff, and you could see him literally like having a fit. 
when something didn't sit right or something, he'd be like, oh, you know, it's all right, dude. It's all right. It's, you know, it's just people get the picture that, you know, which, what you're going for. All right. And that's the look. Now, I don't have, like, I did a look before where I had all these hearts on me with drawn on freckles and stuff. And I had to take it down because I put it up at the wrong time. And I didn't want to redo the video using the same look. So I just decided to try something else. Um, and I think I can still go to work with this. My boss is cool about it. I think she won't mind. Oh, I did want to fix up those uh, inner lashes for y'all. This. Um, so let's just go like that. And like that. Boom. That's it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please vote for me. Love you and see you next time.